Uh, greetings, everyone. We, we hope uh, you are okay. <laughs> uh, we know that uh, most of you have access to Wi-Fi while you are at work um, in the evening. Uh, you do not have access to Wi-Fi, so this is why we are saying let's have this conversation now so that uh, you do not miss out. Uh, you are free to write your questions. We are discussing documentation issues. I can't remember the name of the comrade yesterday when we were doing political education. Uh, she then posted a question on documentation and I said we deal with the documentation during the course of the week. So if this comrade uh, is following, she is free to write a uh, a uh, uh, question, uh, Comrade Babaga uh, Mandra, <laughs> don't tell me you don't understand English. Why are you so obsessed about Ukulman Yasindu? <laughs> when I speak English and uh, it's in the bell, so do not be obsessed. Uh, I, I, I address a wider audience. Some of my comrades do not uh, understand this in the bell, so I try and make so. Do not be worried. I know Comrade Ken Babaga Mandla that you understand English. Uh, I think it was last week, Thursday or Friday, we did uh, indicate to you that uh, we will be meeting today, the 7th of October 2024, officials in the ministry or in the office of the Minister of Home Affairs in Arcadia, uh, Pretoria. Uh, we did have the meeting as promised. Uh, what we are giving you uh, is a feedback other than to say the issues that were raised were not immediately responded as the officials would have to consult with the minister and the other officials. But we will then give you the issues that were raised for them to consider. <coughs> So uh, the first issue that, that uh, was part of our agenda in the meeting that uh, we had with them, we noted that when Circular 7 of 2024 was issued, there was confusion on whether uh, uh, walters of the Zimbabwe exemption permits were applying for a general work visa should apply for a waiver before making a submission or not. Uh, because we'll recall that uh, in November 2021, uh, the first waiver that was granted was that wave holders of the Zimbabwe exemption permits should apply for, wave, for visas not from their country of origin, but in South Africa. That was the first wave. And then the second one, which was also then removed, the requirement which was removed later on, it was the policy clearance from Zimbabwe. Uh, so you do not need to apply for a police clearance. That was removed. And also radiology was also removed. Uh, and then a uh, Circular 7 of 2024 then removed the certificate from the South African Qualifications Authority and uh, from the <coughs> Department of Labor as a requirement. So in our meeting today, we're asking them to say if all these requirements are removed, uh, why is it that uh, there is a, a, an insistence from uh, the uh, a, a Department of Home Affairs to say a Walter for ZEP should pay 1,550 okay. rands for a waiver and then he pay about 3,000 rands for a general work visa. Uh, we were asking to say if I'm a Walter for ZEP, uh, I'm applying for a waiver, what, what do I write as motivation? Because previously I would simply say I am Mabuto Nicholas Mapena. I do not have the necessary academic qualifications uh, for me to qualify. But now that all that has been removed, why is the department insisting on a waiver? So it is one of the issues that uh, 
they are going to be consulting on with the minister. Uh, they are going to respond to us. That does not mean, I want this to be clear, that does not mean that uh, people should not apply for waivers. So you need to continue to apply for waivers uh, until such time they respond. Uh, to us because they might respond in terms of clarifying uh, giving reasons why it is important for every person to have a waiver or they might respond by saying uh, well they might say they don't see the need of a waiver as well so for now you just continue to apply mm -hmm. we then posed again this question to them which they are going to be consulting with the minister uh, uh, in that confusion when uh, Secular 7 of 2024 was issued, there are people that then applied for a general work visa without applying for a waiver. So the question that uh, we were then asking them was what then happens to those individuals that uh, took the VFS advice to apply for a general work visa without a waiver. Are they going to be rejected? Should they apply for a waiver? What is going to happen? So uh, they are going then to get back to us on that and uh, give clarity uh, on what uh, uh, those individuals should do or what decision the Department of Home Affairs is, is going to take we also raised the issue of uh, 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 what you call Directive 4 of 2023. Because Directive 4 of 2023, if you read it carefully, it says the Zimbabwe exemption permit will expire on the 31st of December 2024, uh, uh, meaning that every person would have applied. In that same directive of or directive 4 of 2023 it then says a new permit known as the exemption uh, uh, is now on offer people should apply for an exemption permit which expires on the 25th of november 2024 i mean 2025 right we then says in our view this now causes some kind of confusion because you have a holder of ZE Ping who then applies for an exemption which expires in November 2025. Uh, but that exemption, the conditions are saying that uh, you cannot renew it. You cannot apply for a permanent residence. Uh, so we were saying uh, there is some confusion there. Because we know that the other holders of ZEP have applied for that exemption, which has been issued. So we're asking on um, what what is likely to happen, and and also because of the confusion around the issue of the waiver, uh, the confusion around the directive to, uh, 4 of 2023, and also that the waivers that are coming out are saying that the ZEP's lifespan will end in June 2024. So we then uh, made a request to them to say, why don't they consider to extend the Zimbabwe exemption permit itself, uh, issue a directive and extend it, grant another 12 months grace period from the 31st of, of December 2024 to the 31st of December 2025. So this is the proposal that uh, we did put to them because of the confusion, because we know that the uh, other ZEP holders are yet to submit their applications. Uh, so like I'm saying, they are, con they are going to consult uh, on that uh, uh, confusion, which we see ourselves as, as, as a confusion. Then we also discussed the issue of Aslam documents because outside the waters of uh, Zimbabwe exemption uh, permits, there are people that are applying for Aslam documents. You will know that uh, uh, regions that is SADAC, East Africa, West Africa and so forth are given days from Monday to Friday uh, to apply for an Aslam. So we did put to them uh, to say why not consider uh, opening another center? Because we note that 
when people go to a Desmond a refugee center in Marabastad in Pretoria, there are long queues. I've met people that would say they would have gone there at about six in the morning, uh, come back in the evening without being attended to because uh, it is congested. So we did put that to them. They did say that uh, the minister sometime in November is going to also visit uh, uh, and another refugee center and the officials they said they are yet from the office of the minister they are yet to visit uh, Desmond to Maraba Start Center so that they familiarize themselves with what is happening engage the officials it is then that uh, they might then uh, consider our proposal given to what they will have discussed with the officials at uh, Desmond Maraba Start at uh, Desmond Refugee Center in Maraba Start uh, and uh, uh, looking into other uh, refugee uh, centers. Uh, we, we then discussed uh, in our meeting uh, the issue of those that ZEP holders that have a V list. Uh, uh, you have people that uh, in between 2010, 2014, when people were waiting for permits, and also between ZSP, ZEP, uh, in the process, people losing their passports, some were then declared undesirable. Uh, uh, they have a V list in their passports, meaning that uh, a person cannot travel, even if they are on ZEP, but they cannot travel because uh, they, have, they have a ban in their passports. So we're asking them to consider giving a blanket amnesty for such individuals to say, as long as you are a world of a, a ZEP, uh, you should be granted uh, an amnesty if you have a V-list. On, on the basis that uh, if you applied for a ZEP, which was issued in 2017, uh, because you did a biometric and applier, so meaning that you have no criminal record in South Africa. Uh, uh, but the criminal record might arise in the process. You lost a passport that had a ZSP, uh, you then traveled uh, with a new passport, which then the officials did not capture in the system that you have a permit, and then they put a V list. And now you have a ZEP, uh, you can't travel to Zimbabwe. And Abanyabe Nandmele Slaveri Mbozi, what December, Sali Valang Ama V list to Tali Kauga Slaveri Mbozi. But, but that, this is what, what is happening. So we requested them uh, to consider that. So we do not know what uh, their response is going to be. Yeah, of course, we did discuss the white paper. I'm sure most of you have read the white paper, which we have been talking about uh, in a number of our videos. Uh, uh, in the context of the white paper, uh, uh, we did, of course, recognize uh, high unemployment in South Africa, the attitude of uh, South Africans. Uh, I was following uh, on TV uh, this afternoon the Cosato match. Unfortunately, I couldn't participate in the Cosato match. I saw one official raising the issue of uh, uh, migrant workers that they are exploited and they are plotting. This trade unionist, I couldn't get his name, was uploading what uh, the Labor Department is saying. But, but in that context, we did raise the issue of domestic workers uh, who are not documented that uh, they are exploited, uh, they are given a stay in, they end up working long hours. Uh, uh, why not consider giving them uh, special permits? Uh, 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 we know that uh, this has been opposed by some. But when we made this proposal in January 2024, uh, to say grant domestic workers special permits. Uh, there was a lot of interest from the media fraternity. We did a lot of interviews on South African radios and they were taken by surprise to say why this interest from the South African media does it mean that uh, South African journalists are also employing uh, uh, migrants as domestic workers. But it is an issue uh, that uh, we did uh, uh, put it to them. Uh, um, the the other thing, of course, that uh, uh, we did raise uh, um, 
was the issue of children born in South Africa, uh, who are now major, who are above 18. Uh, who are having difficulty in applying for citizenship in South Africa because you know when a child is born in South Africa they assume the citizenship of their parents uh, but when they are 18 they are supposed they need to apply for a South African ID so we have a, a number of children quite a number of them that are finding difficult to apply for citizenship so it it was the other issue that we raised uh, so all these issues that uh, we raised in the meeting today in Arcadia with the officials of the minister uh, will be discussed and then they are going to respond to us uh, uh, on what they think uh, so we thought it was important that uh, we we give you this briefing but also important that uh, if you are a holder of a ZEP, you should do uh, continue to apply for a waiver. Uh, if it is issued, apply for your general work visa. Uh, but we do not know whether they are going to extend the ZEP. Comrade Tankiraki Chikwaya says, uh, 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 Oh, they're talking about insults. Okay, okay, it's fine. So I, 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 I think uh, we no longer have any questions. You wrote some. Uh, questions earlier on they've now disappeared so i can't uh, 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 see them so uh uh doing comrade dunga kumdani ngwena says say keep advising us to go back home and fight for our country as a government is making it difficult for us to acquire those documents but 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 it's, it's an important point that um, uh, uh, we must go and resolve issues in our country. Uh, so I don't see any other questions here. Uh, uh, in that case, comrades, no, th thank you so much uh, for participating. Uh, we will uh, continue to engage on other matters. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye-bye.